Yo, what is good, YouTubes? This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC that is the Everyday City Carry. Tonight, I have my new buddy, but it's actually an old buddy who just has a new name. Give it up for Red Wolf EDC. What's up, my dude? Welcome back, kinda. Cheers to you, my friend. Oh, I, I fucked up already. You know? <laughs> going to grab a drink, going to grab a drink. It's all good. <laughs> Yeah, man, I decided to do this podcast. We're going to be talking about the name change, like what you've been up to. We'll, we'll talk about the Leong Ma Fuller Fanatic stuff a little bit because no one seems to want to touch the topic at all. You know, even the people that I know that know Leong Ma, like for a long fucking time, um, you know, who have basically sided with them. Uh, I, I don't know where I stand on the whole thing. I got to be honest. I have no idea. I've watched Leong's, Leong's response, and I watched every video that Fuller Fanatic made in succession, like in a fucking row, bro. And I got to tell you right now, it was fucking exhausting. Okay? <laughs> like, um, I, I feel like Leong's video was a little easier to digest because it was just like direct. Uh, but still, no receipts, bro. Yep. No receipts. It's just a bunch of like both parties pointing fingers at each other for certain things, but not the things that I want to know about. Like agreements on what's to be paid and things like that. So it's like, I don't really know where I stand. Um, you know, I've communicated with uh, the Fuller Fanatic more because as a knife, you know, YouTuber, I've asked him to do my podcast. He's never done it. I asked him mad times. He, um, he was going to loan me a couple of like um, like higher end knives, maybe like some Todd bags and stuff like that. And then I actually gave him my address and my phone number. And he was like, I'll hit you up. Um, and uh, I don't know if he ever did or not. You know what I mean? Because I don't usually answer phone numbers that I don't have in my phone. He didn't give me a number. You know what uh -huh. I mean? So now that's save it. Um, and I, I just let um, numbers that don't have that I have don't have saved. I let that shit go to voicemail, bro. You know what I'm saying? It could be a creditor, bro. They're like the predator <laughs> in the movie, except they take your money instead. So I, I fucking just don't answer the phone if if the number is a, a number I don't know because if it's important, that motherfucker's gonna leave a message. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I just do that. But uh, anyway, good to have you on, buddy. We'll get back to that in a little bit. Like, why did you change the name of the channel? So I actually made a video about that. And I started I watched my, it. my YouTube <laughs> channel for like very selfish means. And I basically openly said that. And I saw an extra bass, metal complex. People are doing these like, these like one long takes. And they're fucking up over and over and over again. I could do better than that shit. For mm -hmm. the record, I can't. It's mm -hmm. way harder than it looks. I can do them in like little jump cut videos, but as far as like in one take, that that's hard. That's an art form. Yeah, <laughs> I can't do that at all. So uh, Red Bull VDC is basically just my sincere plea to the community that like this is more about them than it is about me. So pretty simple. Uh, the actual video is longer. It's more heartfelt. But uh, yeah, I watched. Just, I skimmed through it. I, uh, why did why why Red Wolf though? Cause I'm a fucking ginger. Come on now. Oh shit! <laughs> and you just like wolves? Nah. So a friend of mine called me a uh, red wolf EDC randomly like years ago, and he just kept on saying it. And everyone, and my other friends started saying it as well. And I was like, you know, I'm going to own this shit. It's better be called Irish all the time. <laughs> Everyone's like Irish for red. And I was red wolf. I'm like, all right. I sound like a native now. But fuck it, let's go. Yeah, I was like, is he like fucking Cherokee or some shit? <laughs> like, <laughs> got some apache in him though no? you know what i mean hey man it's cool you know like i um you know there's been success on the channel you've grown like quite a bit since the last time you were on here right yeah i was at like 800 before and i'm yeah. at 1800 now yeah dude fucking just climbing up you know uh how often do you post videos whenever i feel like <laughs> there's no schedule anymore it so it's not like once a week at all or... going seven days strong with nothing so oh, I mean, shit. 
Yeah, I mean, look, clearly whatever you're doing is working for you because I'm posting six days a week. My my growth is a little bit better. It's definitely better than before. Um, and uh, I don't know if it's because of the I, I just post a lot everywhere or if it's because the live shows and the podcast. I'm not honestly too sure what it is, but uh, you know, that's that's what we do, right? We got to just experiment and keep keep going and doing what we're doing. Uh, right. What knives? What knives do you have on you today, man? Uh, as far as on me, I'm actually yeah. carrying my uh, Suko Saka. I've never said they named this thing. What is that? It's a uh, custom knife factory, like actual custom. Oh shit! Crazy ass blade. Oh, I know that one. There was there was a knockoff going around a little while ago, and it was called the Piston Knife. And I remember I saw it on on LTK's channel, and <laughs> someone gave me one. And then I posted it on Instagram, and a dude, this dude was like, "Yo, that's a fucking CKF." And I looked it up, and I was like, "Oh shit, I had no idea." You know what I mean? So it, it was like an unbranded knife. It was very well finished, very well made. And I thought it was just like one of those knives, but I could tell because of the blade and the handle shape. That's what it was. I've got the uh, Monterey Bay Knives Old Guard today, the first version. Awesome. Uh, very, very cool knife. You know, and it's it's funny because, it, you know, to talk about the Fuller Fanatic, I don't know why it's not fucking focusing right now. <laughs> to talk about the Fuller Fanatic, um, he mentioned like how Leon rehashes the same design over and over again and sells it to people and you know the designer of this knife basically just says hold my beer it's ray laconico <laughs> like all his knives look the same <laughs> nope. no and they're dope though they're dope you know like the design language is a funny thing like but yeah ray laconico is definitely said hold my beer <laughs> like fucking release the mass drop keen the fucking <laughs> The stuff with Kaiser, they all look so similar. Um, that was one of the things. What? How did you feel about that whole thing, actually? About Fuller Fanatic or Rick? Yeah, like that whole thing. Like I know that you've watched. How many videos have you watched on it? Um, I'm not sure. So have you watched off, them all? Yeah. So so first off, I didn't really care that much, right? I just wanted mm -hmm. to kind of leave it alone, and I got. A insane amount of requests, right? I always say, hey, do you have any requests or any concerns, anything you want me to, 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 to do a review on or a video on? Hit me up. Here's my social media. And prior to that, I've gotten maybe like five or six requests. Dude, I got hundreds. I was like, oh, my God. This is like 50 times more than I've ever gotten before, so I need to do something. And then I posted up the video, and it got like almost 2,000 views in like, a, like, like four hours. I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. Very people give a shit, so I just started recording them. Um, for the yeah. most part, like I believe negativity in the community, I try not to highlight it because there's so many good people that I don't think you really need to do that. I mean, mm -hmm. honestly, so uh, when I first started recording the video, it was a big he said, she said thing, and, and even now it still kind of is, but it's continuing. Like, he recently fucked somebody else over in the community in regards to a like a cuff knife that he, like, I guess he like sent four different versions of it they were all wrong and they all had problems and they all they said fuck you and let's just kind of just burn them so like it's an ongoing thing so at this point in time i think it's important that i did basically post on it but mm -hmm. like I, I hate doing stuff like this man because again like there is so much positivity so much good so much genuinely fantastic things in our community that to focus on just the bad is just almost like a sin to me like wait so that story you just mentioned right now, he sent someone, he sold someone like bad KUFs. Yeah, so um, somebody ordered, somebody was a lefty, um, and they he sent them a, a righty knife instead, and then he sent them back the actual knife, um, and then sent him another one. This one had like really bad lock stick, and sent that one back. And it was just this back and forth thing. Um, I posted about it on my actual uh, Facebook. It's in the uh, knife training sales and feedback uh, room if anybody wants to read it. Um, it. It's a bunch of stuff. I, I basically just said, hey, this needs to be a public record. And everything else is just the exchange between the two. Um, my memory is not good enough to paraphrase. So I don't want to say anything wrong. So if you're curious, you can go read that. Yeah. Wait, so it was left the EDC? No. He was oh, just okay. Not oh, okay. I was gonna say like, yo, 
Yeah, I know. It's like for me, the only left-handed person in my heart is lefty EDC. <laughs> <laughs> There's no room for anyone else. No, lefty that's crazy. EDC sponsored by Revo Knives. I know, right? <laughs> Is he sponsored by Revo Knives? I don't know. I know, I know you. Uh, your ass is. <laughs> uh, so, so I am. I am good friends, and I should have those guys on actually because I'd love to talk about them, uh, talk about uh, BRS Evolve and Revo and stuff. Because Blade Runner Systems is like huge already, like in the Bali yeah. Song world, they're like a proven company, and I think they're just trying to you know build up their their catalog with the other two companies um which which is cool you know what i mean i i I do like what they're doing i mean i don't know if they've nailed their formula yet in those two categories but if they put in the same amount of work they did for brs they're definitely going to get there oh yeah you know what Um, i mean they have the capability uh, um i tried their uh, apache model it's actually really good it was too small for my size of hand but it was good yeah, the Apache. Yeah, yeah. The it, the I had I have a red and black one that Winchester Inc. Uh, sent in to me, and he was just eventually he was like, "Bro, just keep it." And I'm like, "What? Really?" You know, I'm like fucking crying <laughs> in the corner and shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, with, with uh, back to the Fuller Fanatic Leon stuff, man. I, I just I'm just waiting for more news now because I literally just watched every single piece of content on it, including yours. So it was like. You know what's really weird is like the Fuller Fanatic posted three videos and it was different videos, but it was the same audio. Did you see? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yep. Yeah. Why did he do that? And and, and then the intro of it was just like thanking you. (laughs) You Did you see that? We're just like, you know, I just want to give a shout out to Red Wolf EDC for like not being uh, biased, you know, and just going into it with an open mind. And then I click on the next one, and it's the same thing. I was like, am I going crazy? So I click on the one after that, and it's the same thing. And then I look at the videos. They're all 10 minutes and three seconds long. And I'm like, what <laughs> is going on? Like, All right. So, so um, from what he told me, if somebody was trying to claim the video, um, I don't know if that's true or not. So don't quote me on any of this. It's just what I was told. Yeah. Um, and so we re-uploaded it again to counteract the claim, but it's not how claims work. So I don't know what that was, but yeah, he uploaded three of the same video. Yeah. It, what you mean? Like a copyright thing or yeah. weird. Um, yeah. Did you watch Leon Ma's response on his yep. YouTube? So like, how did you, cause look, I watched the fuller fanatic stuff first, you know what I mean? And I was like, damn, yo, this is fucked up. Like, you know, what Leong did. And then I heard, like, Leong's side, too, which is always important. You got to hear both sides. And I try to get Leong yeah. on here. Bro, I try to get that dude on here. He hit me up, reshared a couple of my knife, uh, knife pictures because um, Eugene Kwan at Dashboard Reviews let me borrow the um, Field Duty EDC, which is pretty dope. And he fucking donated a KUF V3 to the channel. So I'm like you know, making content like crazy about it. And he was reposting my Instagrams. But, um, fuck, where was it going with this? I forgot now. My fucking ADHD, bro. It's like so stupid. Um, uh, the ID thing was weird to me. Do you remember that? Yeah. So first off, in case anybody's not aware, I'm a felon. Um, I've had my record sealed and everything else, but I've been yeah. present, I've been involved in gangs. I've been a whole bunch of different shit. Yep. So I understand with not wanting to send your ID because when somebody actually scans that name and they see the background, yeah. they judge you. Like, no matter what you did, like, you're immediately judged for it. And honestly, like, I mean, I, I saw what he was charged for, right? Mm-hmm. But see, for, um, so first off, I've been locked multiple times. But the mm-hmm. main one is, like, I literally stabbed somebody in self-defense. Yeah, I, I saw was, that I, video. I was getting jumped. Yeah, now, I saw that video. I saw that video. On the record, it says that I brandished a weapon, I threatened somebody, I, I tried to kill them, a whole bunch of different shit, right? Yeah. Because they, because they don't have time. To, all they give you are the actual penal codes, which looks bad. So they don't yeah. actually go into the whole story of it. So I kind of understand where he's coming from. Um, on the other side, I've ran business before. So, like, you know, to not provide ID, that I'm, I personally wouldn't be even fucked with them. I'd be like, hey, man. In the background, that's the case. You know, we I can work with you, but you, you need to be forthright with what's going on. Yes. And Leon Ma running a business 
and basically just saying, okay, whatever, I'll, I'll trust you. It's nice, but it's also really, really stupid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, dude, you know what? Let's take a pause right now because your audio is coming in really bad. So just oh. come. Yeah, just leave the room and come back again. And uh, because because it, 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 it became bad for some reason. OK. All right. Yeah. 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 This is pretty interesting getting to talk about this with somebody that's kind of of the same mind as me. Um where I just don't know where I lie with this whole situation. Everyone, like, you know, chime in on the comments, like, what you guys think, if you have any, like, insider information or anything like that. Um, definitely do that in the comments of this video because I'd like to know, you know what I mean? Show the receipts. Guys, show it. We need to know what is going on, man. I'm not saying I side with anybody. I'm just saying both of y'all are looking kind of crazy right now. You know what I mean? Sure. That's just that's just the truth of it. You know, that's just the truth of it. Because if there was proof that, like, you know how like in, in the Fuller Fanatics videos, he's like, yo, I got more, I got more ammo in the bag, son. You know what I mean? Like for later, if you come at me again. And I'm like, yo, just release the shit, dude. Just release the shit and get and finish it. Now they're gonna go into the civil case. Maybe that's why they're being a little tight lipped now, because I think they're gonna go into some kind of case. So, I don't know. I don't know. But you've been keeping up with it? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Okay. First of all, is audio better? Yeah, it's a little better, yeah. Okay. Okay, microphone, man. Um, so, yeah, I agree with you. But at the same time, if they were going to hold it to their chest and take it to court, it should have all been held to their chest. The moment they started going down the route, they're going down, they're both slandering each other. And it's both becoming a bigger issue. Like, mm -hmm. honestly, Leon Law, being the professional that he is, made a tremendously poor judgment call by doing what he did. Like, if he stole the knives or he did not, fine. If you're going to be on some street shit and you're trying to take them back by force, that's one thing. But if you're mm -hmm. trying to do the legal system, then to basically broadcast that with no real proof and basically look, make yourself look dumb, now it's just the wrong call. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you don't have if you're not willing to disclose the proper information, because if you had it, you should fucking just use it. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, he was saying how like he didn't want other makers to get scammed and things like that. That's why he put out that video. The other crazy thing was like the Fuller Fanatic goes on Instagram and posts a fucking picture of one of Leong's knives disassembled and the blade is broken. Did you see that? Oh, he dipped out on me. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if that is actually still on uh, the Fuller Fanatics um, Instagram. I wonder if it is. Let's let's check it out right now. I'm gonna look it up right now and see if it's there, and we can we can all look at it. I don't know if this is gonna cause mad trouble for me or not. Like I'm really not sure. <laughs> let's see if he still has it there. I don't see it anymore. Yeah, I think he took it down, yo. Yeah. Oh, no. Is it this one? Is it this one right here? Uh, real time to get back on these pictures. Nah. I'm trying to find. There was one thing where, like, um, he broke one of Leong's, Long, Leong Ma's, like, knives, and then... Yeah, I I don't see it. I don't see it. Bro, my bad. Why did you leave? Hey, so you sound like a robot, and I couldn't even hear what you were saying. So something's fucking Do I sound like a robot me. right now? No. All and right. I'm pretty cool I, on my end, so I don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah. As, as far as that picture, um, it's actually on my on my video. The very last one, probably like four minutes in, if anybody wants to see it. Um, and yeah, he definitely yeah. did delete it. Which looks yeah, suspect. because that made it really suspect because you just don't do that, really. Like you're breaking somebody else's supposed property yeah. on fucking social media and like calling them out like, yo, this is what's going to fucking happen. You know, like say goodbye to these knives that I owe you. And I was like, what the fuck? Like I, that was just very odd, like behavior. You know what I mean?
Yeah, what, what really started to confuse me is that in his most recent video, he's just calling Leo Ma a bitch. And, like, he's just getting really aggressive with it. I'm like, yo. I mean, if you want to be the professional side, I mean, I just said that in, in the first video. Like, if you want to be the professional and different person and just kind of tell the story, that's awesome. But the bobbleheads is, is been in bad taste. Yeah. Now, if you, want be, if you want to be the professional, calm person, insulting the man and just cussing him out or whatever is in bad taste. Like, I mean, that's just, it's just not how you, you, do, you do business like that. Yeah, it, it was not. And, you know, you were right. Um, when you were like, yeah, you know, you shouldn't have fucking put the bobbleheads on if you want to be taken seriously. Like, I know you're trying to be funny. Um, and you know what's crazy is like the huge, because I don't know, I don't know if it's just because I just watch comedians like eight hours a day, but it's like none of it was really humorous to, humorous to me. Like, the, even when he was yeah. doing the bits with like Charlie Murphy and shit like that, like, I didn't, I wasn't really laughing. Like, I was just I trying to gain information. I, I, dude, I thought that I, was funny. You know what it is? I, I, I watch these A-list comedians all the time. So, like, the bits, like, have to be fucking so good or else I just don't laugh anymore. <laughs> like, no, and it was a weird situation to be putting in a, a, a thing there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's where I am with it, man. Uh, we're just waiting for more information. You know, I wonder if I should have, like, either of them on here. I don't think they're going to do it. I mean, I've tried to have Fuller on here before. I've tried to get Leong on here before. You know, it, 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 believe, be, dude, believe it or not, there are people that still like don't think that they want to do it. Huh. Yeah, like the, the show, I mean, I'm like, yeah, but I've got had bigger people than you on here. <laughs> like, what you, yeah. you know, what I mean, like if they fuck with me, like I'm just, a, you know, I'm just a chill hey. dude. Like we just want to hey, talk you're doing, and stuff. You're doing so good, man. Like, I'm, I'm just, not going to lie. I, I don't have the attention span to watch like a two hour podcast. So, uh, <laughs> so I will pop in for a little bit just to like root you on. I'll, I'll see you have some some crazy person on. I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm like, man. Like, I, don't <laughs> see, I don't see anybody succeed. Like, that's amazing. I appreciate it, man. I, I and I appreciate you when you hop on. I always try to say hi. Like, if if I notice that you're there, sometimes the room is going too crazy and. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, like uh, the other night, I don't know if you hopped on then when it was like the couples live show. That was fucking wild, bro. When I had like Lindy Lou and Richie, um, uh, Justin and Molly from OCD for EDC. And then I had uh, uh, David and Katie from Eggs and Ham 22. And we were like doing like couple shit. And like I had these new Are You Garbage playing cards. Oh, God. <laughs> bro, they're so <laughs> sick. Like I just pull out a card and it's like, do you prefer Domino's over Pizza Hut? <laughs> and everyone had mad fun doing that. Um, so what have you been up to on your channel, man? Let's get off like the uh, sort of, uh, you know, sad or <laughs> sad uh, topic of the Leon Muffler fanatic stuff. Because I think we both said what we had to say about it so far. Much. Um, yeah, like what what have you uh, what have you been up to lately, man? Like anything like how have you been making content lately? Like you just. <laughs> I mean, apparently I'm now the drunk knife guy, so everyone's like, man, this video is good, but get shit faced and buy more knives. I'm like, fuck, what the fuck's about to make me alcoholic? Like, <laughs> like uh, it was supposed to be up today, but I procrastinated on editing it. But I have a, like a knife sale coming out or whatever. I'm selling like, it's like 17 different knives. Yeah. Um, and then after that is a drunk buy video. But mm -hmm. I've already recorded this drunk buy video. Stuff's already like got here and everything else. And yeah, <laughs> well, I'm going in for a fun one. I'm going to abstain for a little bit after this one. I was just kept getting. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so you bought a lot of knives, like while well, you yeah. were fucked up. Damn, dude. Some of I which saw... I can't resell. Like just like some of that oh, I no. bought way over value. I was like, fuck. I'm never making this back. <laughs> oh shit! I saw that you had some other beef on your channel with like some other dude. Like I didn't get to watch it fully. It was like about some giveaway thing, and it said like "Don't be a dick." Oh, like what yeah, is that? Yeah, Can yeah. you explain that to me? Because I didn't get to watch it. I was like, "Fuck!" I should check that out. God, so that's an interesting thing that I was going to cover. Then the whole Leo Ma thing happened, and yeah. I was like, "I don't know if I want to bring in this much negativity." Yeah. But so this one person and Matthew Kohler commented like, hey, you know, uh, I won. Uh, I'm the true winner. 
So that started off with the roach disaster. Like one, he was like third in line. That he weren't like the, the true winner. Like what the fuck, you <laughs> I'm the true winner. I go, okay, now you lost the fucking cartoons. Like, but um. So then after that happened, left the EDC comments and all. He's like, hey man, I know that fucking guy. He won my giveaway under a different name. So I was like, what? Oh, and he God. sent me um a, a screenshot from somebody else. Basically, like showing all these different aliases that are like a fake accounts for giveaways, and there is like probably like fifty of them. And then I messaged the guy who gave him that, and then I was like, "Hey, man, do you have any more?" He's like, "Bro, there's so many of them. Like, I, I just kind of stopped doing it." And he doesn't want to have me use his name, so I can't stand to the evidence, which makes it kind of harder. And also, mm-hmm. it's just more negativity after the whole Leo thing is still ongoing, and I just I kind of don't want to do that. But yeah, what started off as Pete Rose was a fucking asshole. Ended up, he has like a million fake accounts all going to Matthew Kohler in, in a P.O. box. And he's just basically scamming YouTubers to get giveaways. Like the world's fucking crazy. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I also, think this Matthew guy Kohler. won a giveaway. Matthew Kohler. I think this guy won a giveaway from me. I have to double check, but the name sounded so familiar. <laughs> like... He has hella fake names, but they all go to oh. the Matthew Kohler at a P.O. box. Oh my God, we getting duped. Man. How did they... But how do they do that? Because, uh, you know, we got to get smarter with the way we do these giveaways, bro. You know, <laughs> like we got to be like, yo, what did I say? And. What did I say in video number 17 of the channel, yo, in, you know, fucking 10 minutes in or some shit, you know? And then you got to have them comment it. That's the only way you can enter. <laughs> like, it's got to be crazy. Yeah, but I mean, Matthew Kohler is an actual person. So if you say that, then they're going to go back and watch that and then comment. Yeah, but I then guess, like, like, they're just going to, co- they're going to comment individually with all those fucking accounts or it's like, it's got to be automated, right? I maybe I'm not that it's smart. It's gotta be automated. I'm really not that smart. Like, I have no idea. Nah, because like, the way like, that's done. Like, done it... how to make a second YouTube account. So like, I, I'm I'm done, dude. No, I'm, I mean, because I've I've done you know my fair share of fucking you know fucking techno tech stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's gotta be fucking automated if you're commenting in or whatever with like fifty fucking accounts. You're not doing it manually. I would take yeah. forever. You know what I mean? I mean, if it's a whole bunch of free knives and you're like a kid and you know, it's a bunch of free time, I, I, I could see it. Dude, if a kid is fucking doing that and he's like in fucking middle school or some shit, he deserves that shit, bro. Because I had, <laughs> I did not have my shit figured out by then. This has got to be like an adult man, you know? Maybe. I mean, back in the day when I was still like a teenager, I knew how to act pretty damn well, but things have advanced so much that like I... No, like I'm not even gonna fucking try to learn that much. Like I'm good. Back in the day, breaking something was easy as hell. Now it's like a whole endeavor. You need like brick. Yeah, but you know how to hole. edit videos. I'm good. You know See, how to I edit videos. Really you know how to edit photos. Yeah, I mean, I learned all those things recently, though. Like the I want you to go, go. I want you to go on my Instagram. Look at my like, my my picture from like six months ago. It's mm-hmm. garbage. It's horrible. Then mm-hmm. then the, the, the most recent one. Um, I'm a firm believer, man, that you should try to like better yourself at all times. And I appreciate yeah, yeah, you yeah. on my channel, so I try to represent it. Like my content when I first started off sucked. My content when where I'm at now sucks less. That's not great. Like I'm always trying to be, get better. I yeah, I'm tr- I'm always trying to do something. You know, like now I'm playing with this camera. That this the you know the quality has improved, and I've had to learn how to use these things. Uh, one thing I've been doing is like scheduling the week. So it's like every Monday I put out a certain type of video. Every Tuesday I put out a video that has some involvement with the people at home. So I do an EDC fits video, which is like, I always say like, you know, normal people, not people like us, you know, they put it, they put an outfit on, they're into fashion. Our fashion is in our fucking pocket. Okay. (laughs) So I called the show EDC fits and people submit their EDCs and stuff. You get like the Hanks and people getting really into it. So every Tuesday I do that. What's that? Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the... Damn. How much did that cost, bro? Come on. How drunk did you get to buy that shit? Dude, I don't remember. Oh, my. I thought you had no money. Grand, I'm sure. Hey, this is the worst part. 
I, I swear to God, drunk me is like a super villain because he goes, he makes fake accounts. What? So there will literally be accounts that I don't have passwords for. Like, like on Reddit, there's one that's like baseball guru, like 87. I don't even fucking like baseball. But that's an account that I don't have the password for that is all of a sudden on my thing. So I know damn well, I'm like, hey, I'm going to fuck with myself. Like, Dude, are you Matthew Kohler? No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking having a battle with himself. It's like your drunk self is messaging back and then like you don't remember. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's funny, dude. That's funny. Um, I've watched uh, Stir of Echoes way too many times. I fucking love that movie, dude. <laughs> Stir of Echoes. That's the one with Kevin Bacon, right? I think so. Yeah, it's Kevin Bacon, and it's like in the movie theater, and like the girl turns around and grabs him on the shit. Like, yep. that's the one. But he's like drilling in the house trying to find some shit. Something yeah, is uh, that, uh, that one, and uh, God, there's another movie that's like basically like a mind fuck. I forgot what it was called. Uh, Butterfly Effect, Ashton Kutcher, or The Jacket with Adrian Brody. Oh, The Jacket's fucked up. Yes, yes. I like that one, too. Uncomfortable. I was like, whoa. Yeah, it came out around this, like, the same time as The Butterfly Effect, which was, like, the first non-comedy role that Ashton Kutcher had. And I kind of liked that movie. It was, like, kind of fucked up, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then the jacket came out, and I was like, oh, shit, this is crazy. But yeah, Stir of Echoes came out around the time The Sixth Sense came out. I didn't know what The Sixth Sense was. I didn't know what the movie was about, and I took a girl to it. We went on a date, and we sat at the fucking front row, bro. Like, right at the very front, because we bought the tickets last minute. They didn't have no Fandango or any, like, advanced buying shit. And we're watching the movie, and I didn't know it fucked me. It fucked me up in a good way because I like horror movies. But like one thing that I always remember from that movie is that little kid is like, "Hey, you want to see my dad's gun?" And he just turns around. There's a hole in his head. That's like my favorite part of the whole thing. Yeah. So that movie, whenever I think about it, I think about breaking my mom's fucking nose when I was like a little ass kid because. You look like a child. You look young as fuck, but you're older than I am. So, like, when that movie yeah, came yeah, out, yeah. I was little. You were a little kid. Yeah, and, and so I'm literally sitting in my mom's lap, and then when the girl, like, if you, like, pulls the, the sheet down, she's, like, vomiting. Oh, I yeah. Slides up her face, fucking took off and pole vaulted. She might hit her in the oh, face. Shit. And she chased me down the house, bleeding, beating my ass, because this looked like the cop capture mode. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I gotta fucking watch that movie again because I forgot that. And it's like, yeah. That scared the shit out of me. Uh, do you like, do you watch horror? Do you watch horror now? Like, oh, yeah, all the time. What, uh, what's the last horror movie that you watched that was good? Uh, the last new one? No, uh, it, it doesn't have to be new. It could be new for you. Like, I watched recently, um, I never watched it. I think it was a 2016 movie. It was a French movie called Raw. Okay. And it was about this girl oh, who's from weird. a family of okay. vegetarians. I, I know what it is. Yeah, it was a fucking weird movie, bro. But you know, it was I was I was kind of interested in it, but I wanted more by the end of it. But it was weird. It, yeah, I like yeah, it. Um, yeah. So the most, the most recent new movie was uh the kind of horror, I guess, which is Poochie. Poochie? It's like or, or Pookie or whatever. It's a, it's a Hulu original. Basically the guy like is possessed by a bear suit or murder people. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. Oh, wait, I've <laughs> seen that. Uh, I haven't watched it, but I've seen the thumbnail. It's part of that, like, um, horror, like, annual horror fest thing they have, yep. right? Yeah. yeah. You know, some of those are really good, man. I saw the Books of Blood one, and some of those are pretty good. Was that one good, or was it just weird? Uh, the first, so the first one tries pretty hard to be horror. Yeah, but it's still a guy in a furry costume going, eh. so I guess not gonna be <laughs> fucking scary. And then the second one is just full on ridiculous, just embrace it. It's a dumbass concept, and has mm-hmm. fun with it. So I was laughing at it. But yeah, dude, the last actual horror film I watched that was like I hadn't seen before, probably uh, Shenton with a uh, Vincent uh, Caviezel. What's it called? Uh, Shenton, it's an older movie, but like it's good. It, it means Satan in like Swedish or whatever. Oh, I wa- dude, that's so fucking crazy because I watched that recently too. Oh, Is that shit. the one where like he's like some hillbilly dude 
Yep. And then he takes a bunch of kids up to like up to like some house that's like mad far away from for the city, and all this crazy shit happens. Yeah, uh, on the cover he's doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking weird looking. <laughs> is, is it the same one? It, it's that really famous guy. He's French or something, right? Like yeah, uh, Vincent uh, Caviezel. Yeah, and oh, sh- and he had like the buck teeth. He looked like Nigel from the Thornberries. He's like. Is that what, is that what the I, one you're talking I'm, about? I'm pretty sure. Oh, I was fucking high when I watched it, so don't. Bump Dude, me. it was fucking crazy. It was fucking crazy, and that lady like gave birth. Like, <laughs> is that the one? It sounds familiar. Yeah, it was fucking crazy. Yeah, um, honestly, the more you're talking about it, I'm like, man, I need to. Maybe like, I did it. Maybe I didn't watch it. Watch it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't smoke that much anymore. I don't do much of anything, really. Dude, I'm telling you, like, same thing as last time. I drank the whole mm-hmm. fucking podcast, right? You saw me take two yeah. hits, and I was like, hold up, <laughs> hold up. <laughs> it's, it's so hard. Dude, but when the alky and the, the weed mix, though, man, it's fucking tough. You know what I mean? I, I get a little too fucked up. I just drink usually most of the time now. I could drink like a fish, man. I just I can't smoke weed. Irish, bro. Yeah. Ridiculously Irish, bro. good. Uh, did you watch the new Mortal Kombat? I tried to, and HBO could like, give me an error code, like a million oh, times. Shit. I was like, "Fuck this!" I watched it. What's a what's a what's like a recent movie you've checked out? Like that's one of the big blockbuster types. Um, I don't know about being blockbuster. Uh, I watched Birds of Prey recently. That was okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is actually horror too. It's um, don't go into the woods at night. It's a Netflix original. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that one. That one I I watched a couple days ago. Did you watch that Uh, movie? It follows. It was on Netflix for a little bit, where it was like a sexually transmitted disease. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, that movie was fucking sick, and the fucking premise sounded so stupid. Like when I first saw it on Netflix, right? Because the cover, the cover is like a car, and it looks like there's just a couple making out in it. Yeah, and then I like read it, and it's like, what a sexually transmitted disease is killing people. And then when you watch the movie and you see this fucking weird figure following you, it's it was the good, movie. dude. That movie was sick. I got chills right now. Slenderman that AIDS, movie... huh? Slenderman AIDS. Yeah, Slenderman AIDS. Yo, for real. And it's like you know, it's like you gotta fuck somebody else to transfer it to them. Like, what the hell is going on here? That's a good movie, everybody. If you get, I don't know if it's on Netflix anymore. It's called It Follows. I think the second one is coming out. Can't wait to see that. Also, but, uh, it'll make you scared to have sex. I love that movie too. I don't love it, but when I watched it, I was like, "This is freaking insane!" It's like vagina dentata. Yeah. <laughs> but basically, this girl in the movies for people that are just you know have never watched it. This girl ends up growing like teeth on her vagina. She's a virgin, and a lot of men ha- try to wrong her in this movie, and they get their just desserts. Like, I'm talking like hands getting bit off, like in the movie Tremors or something. It's like, <laughs> yo, the, people are getting fucked up, you know? That's just crazy. Yo, you ever watch that movie Dreamcatcher by Stephen King? Oh, yes, dude. I love that movie. With, with, with it- the, uh, aliens? Yeah, and Morgan Freeman was like the yeah. bad guy. So what, what what reminded me of that right now is I was talking about hands getting chopped off, and there was that one scene where the guy goes like this in Dreamcatcher, and then his hands just get like cut off. It was the bathroom scene when he was trying to help the dude that was shitting. I don't know why I remember all this stuff. Kelly was just telling me the other day. He was like, "How the fuck do you remember all of these things from movies, but like you don't know what you did like five seconds ago?" <laughs> Dude, that's how I am with knives. I know so much about the different working pieces, but like basic common knowledge. You're like, what? Yeah, it's, I've, I've, you know, it's crazy. It's like, I wish that that's what stayed in my head because I can't even remember. Like, I when I'm doing like a review, I have to like Google something and like edit it out because like I don't, I don't retain information. Um, what other knives have you got recently? I got this look, this little uh, guy right here from Tepe Designs. This okay. is the Keelage. 
So you guys, will, you guys will see this in the next drunk video, right? But this thing is nuts. This is the uh, the best tech, the Tuga or the Torga or something. Oh my god! Thing. But this thing, dude, like it is nuts. I love this knife. I got it, dude. Here, I'm stuttering on the video, I'm like, which is so cool. Just ridiculous action, M390 steel, super smooth. After my card inlays. That looks fucking like, sick. This thing is nuts. They are so cool for like uh, 360. If you can find one, get it. They are great. 360? Yes, sir. 360. What? I paid less than that because I'm a drunk guy. What the? This is 100. <laughs> It's a best deck. <laughs> I mean, so I mean, so this one's on bearings. It has really yeah. good action, nice tonto, M390 steel. Um, it has natural micarta inlays that you like can't feel the transition on at all. That's important. Uh, there's like no lock stick at all. Super smooth. It like, drops down like a guillotine. Damn. So, it's a really good knife, man. Also, Shit. for the reason like the pivot colors are mirrored, which is random. I don't know why they do that. Whoa. Whoa. It's kind of nifty, I guess. Wow, is that like maybe they were just showing off like what their best is? You know what I mean? Like, if we if like best deck is like, yo, if we make if we put like all our uh all our eggs in one basket, this is what it is. You know what I mean? This is like where we're at. Yeah, because well, I mean, um, I... so so best tech actually makes the the dives for a CKF. So do they? Um, I don't know. So I don't know if they still have the contract now, but for a long time they did. Um. I'm pretty sure. I'm honestly pretty sure that they still do. Wow. So like we are, we best tech. They all kind of have like similar pieces to them, and they're all trying to appeal to different markets. But they all make some really high end shit at the same time whenever they want to. Wow. Because like I mean, React and we like I usually don't get bad stuff from them. Doesn't matter look what price range I'm looking at. If it was manufactured by them, usually it's hot shit. You know what I mean? Um, Unless it's, I, it's a button lock, apparently. What do you mean? Like which button lock? The uh, elemental. Yeah, but that's Civivi, bro. It's still we. Yeah, but it's you know, it's like Civivi's weed. cousin or something. You know, like I that that is a, that is a weird one. I'm actually waiting to check it out because I've heard people give so much crap about it. So like, I actually don't mind it that much. I was never drunk bought. I, I actually drunk bought like three brand new knives. I never buy anything brand new. I sell so much stuff. So everything is off secondary market. Nope, I get a Play HQ, um, Wipeout Knives, and uh, Knife Joy, my money, as well. And <laughs> one of them was that the, the, uh, the best tech or best tech, the same video button block. I don't hate it as much as, as, as a Kevin did, but like I also don't really understand why it's there. I'm like, okay, like it's not bad, but why? Yeah. But Dude, they sold out hella fast, so people obviously love them. Yeah, I mean, it's the Elementum, you know? And Civivi, like, there's a lot of Civivi simps out there. You know what I mean? <laughs> there's a lot. Like, for at one point in my whole, like, YouTube, you know, career or whatever, all I did was, like, report on Civivi because that was, like, the shit that got views. Like, Yeah, see, the things that get views, I don't really like, so I just don't report on them. Uh, can you hear me? You sound like a robot again. Fuck. You can hear me. I'll be right back. We have returned, but Red Wolf EDC is not here. So let me just get to some knife talk. I am showing right now the Pena X series Apache. And uh, Red Wolf EDC has returned right now. I see him. I'm about to put him back in the chat. Long Dude, time I don't see, fuckers. I know, right? <laughs> Damn, we've we've got. You know what's funny? Somebody sent one of these to me the other day. Huh. <laughs> it's a Sog Sync one. <laughs> Have you ever seen these? <laughs> it's so, it's, it, it's like solving a problem that isn't even there. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like a belt buckle, right? And then look at this shit. It comes off. <laughs> you know, it's like one of those things that it, okay, it's, it's definitely cool. 
but you know, like I don't know if we needed it. You know what I mean? But I'm I'm gonna rock it, yo. I told the dude that gave it to me that uh I'm I'm gonna try to get it like on a belt. I gotta get a belt for it because the belts that I have is like special, like a uh, slide belt. So I gotta oh, get you one. Boogie, just bougie bastard. No, I just don't like doing the loop, bro, because they break all the time. I've had my slide belt for like four years. They just slide on so they don't rip and stuff. You know what I mean? But yeah, this is pretty dope. I mean, it's I'm definitely gonna be that weird, like you know, too handy of a guy for no reason, especially I'm living in New York City. I'll be at some gathering and then I'll just like tighten up some fucking screw <laughs> with my belt buckle. People are like, what the fuck? They already look at me weird. You know what I mean? Dude, I was that guy for a while. I had like a 11 and P4 and I had this like weird like socket wrench thing. It was like 30 sockets in one. I, I saw off, I, I thought of a, I could, I, uh, something on TV. I don't yeah. want that. And I have two yeah. knives, and like I have a, my wallet with a pocket tool in the wallet, and that was yeah. hell extra. Yeah, I, I'm definitely, uh, I'm slightly extra. Like I have a pocket sheath with like a, a flashlight and like a Swiss Army knife, a lighter, and a pen in it. Right, that's pretty much all you need. I don't go beyond that. Um, but let me ask you this: Is this garbage? You have a Leatherman Wave, and you have, <laughs> you have a modded bit for it. And it is a spoon. <laughs> like it attaches to the... I've seen that on YouTube and I was like, that is fucking trash. But also <laughs> at the same time, I was like, that is pretty fucking cool. <laughs> hey, like, it's trash, but I kind of want it. Yeah. I have a picture somewhere, bro, where I literally could not find a spoon anywhere in the house. So mm -hmm. I used my uh, Metro Victorian tie and I was eating ice cream off the off the blade. I was because I, I was they had the fuller there. So I dug it in, I was eating off the fuller. And you were frozen again. God damn it. You're back. I have no idea why I'm having technical difficulty right now. I have no clue, honestly. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I dropped it, mate. I dropped it. I fucking dropped the pen. Uh, Dude, yeah, I have. Like, what the fuck, man? Uh, uh, do you live like out in the boons or something, or like? <laughs> I mean, I live in Stockton, so it's a, it's a city. That's where Nick Diaz is from in the UFC, <laughs> the Diaz brothers. Yep. Um, yep. No, it's like the only person that has had. He used to get his ass beat all the time. And now he's a beast. Yeah, he's a beast. Uh, like the thing is, is like you're the only person that I've had this much problems with <laughs> with the connectivity. Bro, I don't I'm know on what an it is. I have a different phone on a different service. Like I was on Apple now. I'm on a, a Galaxy Note twenty. Ultra, like that's what you're um, using right now. Yeah. Uh, here's the crazy thing, okay? Like the video quality is proper, like way better than last time. The audio, a little sketch, and I don't know why that is. <laughs> I don't know why that is, man. Uh, I don't get it, man. Uh, you know, so you know what? We're gonna end the show in a little bit, but you know, what do you say we play uh, play some good old "Are You Garbage"? Let's do it, man. All right, let's do that. So I know we played this before, but we're going to play it again right now because these are like from the cards. <laughs> Have you ever owned a paintball gun? Yep. Trash. <laughs> I owned a paintball gun that was fully automatic. Did you like play like those paintball games like in the, is that what you did or you just had it? I just had it. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, dude, that's definitely the trash. <laughs> like, I would understand. It was like, oh, you know, I'm in the league. Even though that's kind of trashy in itself, at least like you're 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 doing something. It's like, no, I just have it. Nope. I used to collect a lot of random ass crap. So, like, I had it. Me too, shot bro. It at the car a whole bunch of times once, and put it in the closet. It's still there I now. I still I still have it. I'm not going to lie. You know, if I ever went to visit, I'd be like, yo, can we shoot some stuff? In the <laughs> I'm not going to fucking lie. Uh, here, let's do another one right here. Do you get cash back when making a purchase? Nope. I hate cash. Good. 
good. Mostly because I never asked for I never had cash. I had to carry around fucking change. Yeah, I don't like carrying change or cash. Um, it makes it makes saying no to the homeless crackheads on the train like real easy. Don't have cash, man. Yeah, it'd be crazy if one day it was like I got cash app, I got Venmo. <laughs> Just like, Damn. I, got a fuck- I have PayPal. <laughs> oh, my God. Have you ever taken furniture from the trash? No. Nope. Yeah, you know, know what's crazy? Know. In that couple's live show last Monday. Ev- Everyone said yes, <laughs> including me. <laughs> Dude, Lindy Lou was like, we took our bed that we have right now from the trash. <laughs> hey, but here's the thing, man. I live in Stockton. So if it's sitting out there, like you might sit, yeah. sit on a couch and you get a swing, you get a huge syringe in your ass and catch hep C. Like, so someone probably fucked on it, peed on it. Like, anything that's left outside is the sketchiest shit possible. I'm good. Like, I'm way good. I have taken charity before, though. Like, I, I used to work, work for a company doing movies. Like, hey, you want this bed? You want this couch? You want this thing? <laughs> yes. Yes, I fucking do. <laughs> All right. We've, I've asked you this one before, so I'm going to do another one. So we're going to do one more question here. <laughs> have you ever eaten squeeze cheese? Yep. Straight out of the fucking can. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I probably would too. I have like this thing now and I'm obsessed with it. It's called pub cheese. And Kelly told me this was like a white person thing. Yep. Trader it's like Joe's. a spreadable it's really cheese. Good. Yes. Yeah, really yes. That's where she got it from. Dude, it's fucking so good. I, I fucking love it on everything, man. It's absolutely amazing. Dude, beer thank you for flavor. doing the show. What's that beer and bacon flavor? Yep, pub cheese. I have the regular one, I think. So you're you're saying you're telling me I should get the beer and bacon flavor? It's good, man. I like it. All right, I gotta tell her to get that, brother. It was good having you on the show. Thanks for you know going through the whole Liang Ma Fuller thing. Maybe we'll you know end up talking about it again once everything is going on. I, I feel like, you know, people don't touch these stories that much. I think I think the other big sort of knife beef that happened before this one was the um, the drop VDK one. Do you remember that? Vaguely, very. Yeah. Vaguely. So like VDK was like, "Yo, drop had these knives that I did not okay. The quality control was not up to my standard." They were supposed to send it back to, I forgot who it was. I want to say Best Tech, but I'm not sure. I want to say Best Tech, but I'm not sure. And what at, what ended up happening was Drop never sent them back. And then, or, or, or something weird like that. And then all of a sudden, those VDKs just showed up on Drop. And VDK was fucking upset. And that was like the the closest beef that I've I've seen. And even though like these stories are kind of highlighting some of the worst parts of the night community. I feel like somebody has to talk about them. So why not me? You know what I mean? This is what I do. I talk now. I don't even do reviews anymore. So, but anyway, man, dude, thank you for doing this, man. There wasn't really anyone I, I could talk to about it. That was of like a level headed perspective. You know what I mean? Um, kind of like how I go into it. And I love catching up, man. Uh, everybody follow Red Wolf E. DC on Instagram, on YouTube, hit him up. Um, if you want him to be drunk and buy more knives, that's his thing now. <laughs> Dude, I don't know why it's some fucking thing. Like, Jesus. I do drunk so many videos and that's what I'm known for now. It's just a fucking drunk guy on YouTube. Drunk Wolf EDC. <laughs> <laughs> this is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and the Drunk Wolf. Saying peace, good night. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.